the news headlines. DSS operatives tortured Abuja hotel worker and damaged his private part. Ahead of 2023 general elections, the Chief Justice of Nigeria wants election tribunal judges against corruption. Policemen at post headquarters in collusion with National Identity Agency officials sold recruitment slots. UK court adjourns Ikure Madu's trial over illegal organ harvesting to 31st of January 2023 and Glencoe fined £281 million over bribery and corruption in Nigeria and other African countries. Now the news and four. Operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS, have been accused of torturing one Patrick Okachi, a staff of Stateman Hotel located at Central Area, Abuja, with electric shock inflicting injuries on him over missing cash safe. Patrick, who was identified as a cleaner in the hotel, was accused of stealing cash belonging to the chairman of the hotel. He was accused by one Selena Oka for the hotel secretary, who stated that Patrick stole the money while cleaning the chairman's office. Selena had invited the DSS operatives into her office where they allegedly tortured Patrick with electricity and also inserted broom into his private parts. Patrick, in a viral video, had stated that he was detained for three days in Selena's office before being taken away for further torture. Meanwhile, a close circle television CCTV camera footage in the said hotel has revealed that Patrick was not guilty of the allegation of stealing the cash as alleged. Justice Olukayode Ariwola, Chief Justice of Nigeria, on Monday has won judges appointed to resolve disputes from next year's general elections to show all forms of corrupt practices while discharging their duties. Justice Ariwola, while speaking at the inauguration of members of the 2023 Election Petition Tribunal at the National Judicial Institute, NJI, in Abuja, informed the judges that the task of adjudicating electoral disputes from the forthcoming 2023 polls is not an undertaking to be handled with levity. He therefore called on the judges to discharge these onerous responsibilities with honesty, integrity, and transparency, adding that the appointed judges should do what is right in the law books and have their names etched in gold. A total of 307 judges appointed by the Chief Justice of Nigeria will serve on the various election petition tribunals. It has been alleged that many Nigerian applicants who applied for the rank of constable in the Nigerian police first paid 700,000 naira and above to secure the job in the recent nationwide recruitment by the police. Multiple sources have claimed that some of the applicants enlisted in the Nigerian police force who are currently undergoing six months of intensive training in basic, intermediate and advanced police studies paid over 700,000 naira to be selected. It was also alleged that Officers engaged in these criminal activities colluded with some National Identity Management Commission NIMC officials to reduce the ages of some of the applicants in order to secure the appointment on their behalf. Part of the criterion for being admitted into the Nigerian police force is that the applicant must be a Nigerian and aged between 17 and 25 as of the time of putting in their application. Reports also Reports also have it that those who paid between 200,000 and 500,000 naira failed to secure a slot and their money was never refunded. The Nigerian Police Force spokesperson, Muiwa Adejobi, has denied these claims while stating that the police authorities were not aware of the fraudulent acts. The trial of former Deputy President of the Nigerian Senate, Senator E.K. Equerimadus, on the allegation of organ harvesting has been adjourned to January 31st, 2023 while arguments will be heard on December 16 and 19, 2022, according to the Central Criminal Court, CCC, in London, United Kingdom. The embattled Nigerian senator had been arrested by the UK's government on the 23rd of June in London and charged with conspiracy for human trafficking and organ harvesting. Although the Nigerian senator was absent from court on Monday, his wife, who was released on bail in July, and their daughter, Sonia, were present at the hearing. In a related development, Justice Iyang Ekwong of the Nigerian Federal High Court sitting in Abuja last week ordered the interim forfeiture of Ikwere Madu's assets following an expert motion filed by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, before the court. There have also been calls from the public that the lawmaker's seat in the Senate be declared vacant. Glencore, a United Kingdom subsidiary of mining and commodity trading group, was asked to pay £281 million in fines by a London court. 
His profits were also confiscated as a sanction for his part in seven bribery offences pertaining to his oil business across the African continent, which was described by the Southwark Crown Court as sustained criminality. The judge went on to state that the corruption is of extended duration and took place across five separate countries in West Africa that had its origins in the West Africa oil trading desk of the defendant in London. It would be recalled that Glencoe had pleaded guilty on the allegations in June. In the course of the trial, it was also confirmed that Glencoe bribed officials in Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, South Sudan and Equatorial Guinea. 